Hello lovelies. So I'm going to do a video on things I struggle with because I had made a video earlier but it didn't quite pan out how I wanted to do. And I actually have it written down because otherwise I will jump around and I will get so sidetracked it's not even funny. So number one, brain fog. So I'm not perfect. I actually found out in this past four years almost of living up here in Colorado that you sorry can be fired from a therapist. I never knew you could be fired from a therapist, but now I know you can. Uh, so my I have horrible memory issues like I, it doesn't matter long term long term, short term. It's all it's all affected I can be reminded of something the day before or even the day of and I will still forget about it completely space it which is why between my stomach issues and my memory issues I have been fired from three different therapists uh, it was mainly I spaced too many appointments and I'm also working on posture but I spaced too many appointments and it wasn't fair to them and it wasn't fair to their pa their other clients, patients, whatever. Whenever I would miss appointments and that would take time away from them, if that makes any sense. But it also has affected other stuff like other doctor's appointments. There's been days where I've almost completely forgotten my son had something. Which is why my phone is such a big thing, and why I'm also I had to get an, I had to get a planner, and even that doesn't help. Um, my husband will put have notifications. I will have several different alarms, and I'll still forget about stuff. Um, I have I don't know if I still have PCOS. Uh, I no longer have my ovaries, but I have fibromyalgia, um, ADHD, depression. PTSD, I don't know if I already said that, uh, and I think that I may have some brain trauma, actually I know I do, uh, that affects the area of the brain that controls memory. Uh, let's just put it this way, one of my grandmothers growing up was not the nicest of people and we're going to leave it there. So that's one area that I struggle with. Another area is my attention span. <laughs> there is a thing called ADDOS, Attention Deficit, ooh squirrel, that is me, I do that, more often than I really care to admit. Oh, also with the brain thing, um, I will be in the middle of a conversation and I completely forget what I was about to say, it's gone, it's gone forever, I never remember it again, it really sucks, and it's frustrating. My attention, but my attention span is, there's a reason I have so many different hobbies. One, I like all of my different hobbies. Hold on. My husband made a smoothie. But two, there's just, I get distracted easily. It sucks. Uh... And right now I can't even remember what I was about to say. <laughs> Yay! So we're going to move on to the next part. Fatigue and unreliable energy. So there will be days where I just don't have any energy at all. Like, I will have gotten a full night's rest and I will be, I will have rest. But I'm just so tired that I don't want to do anything. Um, or I'll get a bout of energy at 11 o'clock at night or not 11 o'clock but like 10 o'clock at night uh, I will have stuff that I have to go do I will need to do housework and I simply won't have the energy to get it done and so the reason I really struggle with that is I am my husband and I we're very happy. Like, I love him to death. He's my man. He's my baby. 
not my baby, that's my son. Anyways, um, but we, and this doesn't work for everybody. I know there are women out there who they're like, oh no, you, tr you support traditional gender roles. Yes, I do. For the people who it works for. In our relationship, that works. That works, per that works great for us. Another relationship, that wouldn't work. I know at least one person who she's definitely not the traditional wife and that's fine she's definitely not a submissive woman i am to my husband not and this that kind of goes into a different area of other things i am but i am not subservient i'm not a slave i don't rub his feet whenever whenever he would come home from work mainly because neither one of us are fans of feet like if he just gets out of a shower then I'll rub his feet but if it's been a little bit I uh, know otherwise I gotta wash my hands right after but he's I don't know oh I don't know I have energy I don't know how I got on that subject Oh yeah, I do. So we, he's the breadwinner. I'm, I, I'm the homemaker. I take care of the home. I enjoy doing so. I like knowing that, you know, I can make bread that I can, that I, I enjoy baking because a lot of it is, it helps save money and it gives us money to put other places. But whenever I don't have the energy to do that, then we still have to spend the money to do the other that stuff. Like buy bread. We haven't had bread in a while. Excuse me, I'm so sorry. <coughs> we haven't had actual bread in months. But that's because we're both working on eating a lot better. We're both type 2 diabetic and we're working on, we're trying to manage that without becoming insulin dependent. So the pain or the fatigue slash pain, uh, unreliable energy is really, it affects a lot of different stuff. There's days where I simply don't have it in me to cook and we try to meal prep and have stuff, you know, set aside that way we don't have to worry about that, but we're not always able to do that. Simply put, we're, I'm not, um, this is going to be a short video, I think. I may elaborate more but my pain days there are days where I'm able to do more than I am the day before and by that so for me a bad pain day is whenever it feels like I have lightning hitting my back uh, I get pressure in my lower back and hips and the best way I can describe it is if you took a belt, which is a regular, you know, thick leather belt, well, thick, and you kind of loosely fit it around your hips, and then you attached hooks to it, and jab those into your body, and then attach weights to that, and I've been told by an SSI judge that I can stand for four out of eight hours, even with that pain. Now, I don't know of anybody who can do that. I have a hard time walking on those days. Well, you don't see, hold on. This lovely thing right here goes with me everywhere. Everywhere. I can't go anywhere without it. It's also why I'm not able to do the jobs that I have done in the past. Um, I have worked in retail. I have worked in hospitality. I've worked in food. I've been, I'm trying to think. And every one of my jobs requires me has required me to either sit and deal with people which is where the social anxiety comes in I'll get to that later or to be able to stand for at least 
four hours and have both hands available for doing tasks. I can't do that. Physically cannot do that. Um, it sucks. I miss being able to work. But I haven't been able to in a very in several years. Which is why I'm doing this. I'm people have this view of women who are in traditional housewife roles or disabled people as like we're not able to do certain things on our own and they're right there are certain things I can't do on my own I am not able to do the things I used to do so I'm doing the best with what I have and back to the unreliable energy you see, how you see the background I and mean, it's I had a burst of energy earlier and I was able to get some stuff picked up which you can't see because you don't All right, I quit I quit I'm done put a fork in me but the point is my energy is not always I'm not always able to do stuff there are days where it takes me two hours just to top myself into taking a shower because it hurts it physically hurts and I just can't sorry I have to adjust this I just can't do it so on to pain days are there any cover pain days? I think that was supposed to be that one. Sorry. Um, and something else with the pain days is it affects everything. I get really irritable and I feel so bad for it. But I do, I get really irritable with my son, with my husband, mainly because they're the ones I'm around 99% of the time. And my son doesn't he wasn't around me whenever I was able to do stuff. When I was able to run and be without my cane. So, for he's almost, a, he'll be 12 this year. And he's never seen me, except when he was a little bitty, where I didn't have to use a cane. He doesn't understand why I don't always have the energy or the physical ability to do stuff with him. I can't even go to the walk to the park with him. I don't physically have the ability to push myself in my wheelchair. So unless my husband goes with us and pushes me in my wheelchair or we drive, we don't get to go to the park. Pain affects everything. A lot of times it's why I'm not able to do certain stuff around the house and I'm circling back but my point is so many homesteading videos homesteaders and content creators yes they do go into their daily struggle and their daily lives but you don't see at least I haven't a lot of women or whatever who do The disabled home uh, social media content creators aren't as widely shown, if that makes sense. Like YouTube, you have to actively go look for them. And people view us as if... In some ways, as if we're less than. They won't say it, but if you tell someone that you're disabled, then they look at you like, "Oh, just pray." You haven't, I, and they make it sound like you haven't prayed hard enough. I 
recently had a physical therapist who I'm not going to be working with, by the way, who said that she could rehabilitate me. And I've been working hard. I've been exercising as much as I possibly can. And I told her that I was willing to put in the work. And her response was, well, it's obviously not enough because you still have to use the cane. And that just, oh, that made me so mad. Because there's only so much that I can physically do. Am I willing to push myself even on my pain days? Yes, I am. My husband actually gets on to me pretty often because I push myself too hard. But is there only so far that I can do? Go? Yes, there is. Sorry. I'm going to go back to this. So, social slash general anxiety and my ability to function. Hold on. Um, I don't really leave the house by myself. Unless I have to go to get my son and take him to an appointment, like his therapy. Or if I'm going to a doctor's appointment that my husband does not need to go with me to. And even then, I don't like doing that because I don't always remember what doctors tell me. We can have a very thorough discussion about something and I'll get home and try to tell my husband about it and I've completely forgot what I was trying to say. But back to the social anxiety and the general anxiety. I have a hard time going any place. It doesn't matter where it is. It could be the grocery store or the gas station or anywhere. And the whole time that I'm in there, it feels like I am being stared at like I am being judged and it's a very uncomfortable feeling and it's a constant thing it's easier to deal with whenever I have somebody with me but whenever I don't then if I don't have my head if I don't have my phone on the phone I don't go generally I don't go out shopping by myself uh, don't go out to eat between my physical issues and my mental um, I can only carry so much in each hand because I'm one handed because of my cane uh I went, my son and I went to the store a while back, and some, we were, I was having an issue, I had press-ons on, press-on nails on, and whenever I went to enter my pin in the key code thing for the card reader, excuse me, sorry, I guess it didn't go through all the way, so the card came back as declined. I didn't know what was going on. I got overwhelmed. There was all there was several people around me. There was a line behind me and I had a meltdown. I didn't start screaming. I started crying. That is what I do whenever I get overwhelmed. I cry. And I couldn't stop crying. And a day that went from being okay, I can, you know, I got this. I went from that to I didn't want to leave the rest of the day. I didn't want to go back to that store. Even though that's where we get our groceries at, I didn't want to go back there because of how embarrassed I was because I can't, I couldn't even stay calm to do that. I've been going to therapy for years and I have not noticed an, 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 an improvement in it. Ignoring it hasn't helped either. So the whole just push through, fake it till you make it, nothing has helped. I've tried faking it till I make it. That is what I've done my entire life. My entire adult life. So, for anyone who was, who would 
say, well, pray or just push through. I'm trying. I am human. There's only so much that I can do. And even when I was physically able to do more, I still had that back here, back in the back of my, my head. People are staring at me. Am I going to continue trying to push through? Yes, because I don't know how to give up. Is it a struggle? It absolutely is. Do I mentally start panicking anytime my husband mentions or even suggests that I go someplace by myself? Absolutely. Not only because I'm afraid, of, I'm con not afraid, I don't know the word to use. Not only because of the mental stuff, but also I can't always trust my legs. Now I am a fall risk. I have a musculoskeletal disease, I was told, that is affecting my legs. I can't trust my legs to carry me all the time. So I have to get a scooter. What am I going to do? I can't just stay holed up in my apartment for the rest of my life. That is not a lie. And I am so sorry. I did try to stay on topic, but I know there's a few times that I didn't. I'm human. I'm not going to, this is not going to be a channel where you see perfection. I am learning as I go. I will get there eventually, but it's not going to, I'm going to try to be consistent. Uh, but I don't, it's like with the hobbies and the attention span. I will make videos based on what my attention is on that day, I guess. So for now it's a, things that I struggle with. Five things. That's just five things. Um, I can't think of anything else. I'm going to hop off here and have my smoothie and actually get lunch. And I will see y'all later. Um, I will say this. Y'all, we are all human. Unless you are actually one of those aliens that has managed to sneak through. You know what I mean. Uh, please be kind to each other. It doesn't cost anything to be kind to each other. Somebody, everybody, is going through something. So, if you're struggling in life, as another channel, as a channel that I follow, who, he's actually pretty awesome, says, he has this thing called, he calls it STD. One step at a time, one thing at a time, one day at a time. Just... Take it like that. You know, don't push yourself unless you need to. But you know what I mean, hopefully. I'm going to hop off of here. I hope you all have a wonderful day.